Welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 56383 Custom Vehicle to Trailer Wiring Harness on a 2020 Volkswagen Atlas. To ensure your safety and the safety of your vehicle's electrical system, we recommend disconnecting the negative battery cable. Begin by removing the cargo area floor coverings and the spare tire covering, lock, and nut. Next, remove the rear scuff panel by carefully pulling out on the bottom and up. Starting on the driver's side, pull out the interior side panel and a louvered panel to access the wiring harness. Locate the vehicle taillight wiring harness connectors. The connectors will be similar to those on the custom wiring harness. Separate the connector from the taillight housing, taking care not to damage the locking tabs. A red locking tab will need to be depressed for removal. Insert the custom wiring harness end with the yellow wire between the separated connectors. Make sure the connectors are fully inserted with the locking tabs in place. Next, locate a suitable mounting location near the connector for the white ground wire. We are using a punch to mark our location. In order to have a good ground, Metal-to-metal -metal contact is required. Use a bit of sandpaper to remove any paint around the marked location, and using a 3 32nd inch drill bit, carefully drill out a pilot hole, being mindful of what is behind the panel that you're drilling into. Fasten the ring terminal of the white ground wire to the pilot hole using the self-tapping screw. Prepare the black wire by clipping the inline fuse wire in half. Then, strip each end of the inline fuse wire. On one end of the inline fuse wire, use a butt connector and crimp the butt connector to the inline fuse wire. Then, insert a stripped end of the black power wire into the opposite end of the butt connector and crimp the butt connector to the power wire. On the remaining stripped end of the inline fuse wire, insert the ring terminal over the inline fuse wire and crimp the ring terminal to the wire. Continue by placing the ring terminal of the inline fuse wire over the accessory post on the vehicle's battery. In some cases, the accessory nut may not be able to be removed. If this is the case, cut the ring terminal in two places creating a gap that will fit around the accessory post. Fasten the battery terminal nut to the inline fuse wire. Route the long black power wire down through the engine bay to the bottom of the vehicle, being careful to stay away from extreme heat sources and moving parts. Once you have routed the black power wire to the undercarriage, continue to route the wire above fascia panels and above heat shields. This will protect the power wire from road debris. Use the included cable ties to fasten the wires as you route. At the rear of the vehicle, underneath the fascia panel, locate a rubber grommet that you will use to gain access to the rear cargo area. Drill a hole through the grommet and route the power wire through the grommet and into the cargo area. Then, seal the grommet with silicone or a similar sealant. Once inside the cargo area, Route the power wire near the connectors and trim the excess of the wire and strip the remaining edge. Edit. 
Using a supplied buck connector, connect the black power wire to the black wire of the converter box. Using the supplied double-sided tape, adhere one side of the tape to the black converter box. Then, mount the converter box to a safe location near the connectors using the tape. Make sure the black converter box does not prohibit the interior panels from being reinstalled. Replace the louvered interior panel. Next, route the connectors with the green wire from behind the interior panel on the driver's side along the rear scuff panel area to the passenger side interior panel. Remove another interior panel to gain access to the passenger's taillight wiring harness. Disconnect the vehicle's taillight wiring harness connectors and insert the custom wiring harness connectors with the green wire between the disconnected vehicle's connectors, making sure all locking tabs are in place. Now you may begin reinstalling the interior panels. Next, reinstall the scuff panel. Then replace the spare tire covering with the nut and floor coverings. Install the 15 amp fuse into the fuse holder of the inline fuse wire near the battery and finish by reconnecting the negative battery cable. This completes the installation of the Curt 56386 custom vehicle to trailer wiring harness on a 2020 Volkswagen Atlas. Be sure to check all your trailer lights for proper functionality before towing. Thanks for watching this video. Now you have the power to bring it.